uh, work on the amalgamation of schools for some time now and we've tried to take our time in um, moving on this issue because we want to make sure that uh, we consult as much as is possible and we want to make sure that people understand that we're really doing this for the best interest of education and not because of any other agenda. Uh, I was uh, at a meeting in uh, Double Head Cabbage last week, Saturday, and that meeting came about primarily, Maran, because we uh, were approached here in the ministry by the villagers from Scotland Half Moon. Uh, in Scotland, there was a school managed and owned by the Mennonite uh, Church, and it was a private school, so it had much uh, input from the government in terms of finances. And the Mennonite management had indicated that they were not going to continue with the school. And so the villagers from Scotland uh, came to see me and asked, uh, of course, how the government could help in terms of getting uh, a quality education to their students. Um, I learned at the same time of the intention of the Roman Catholic management to close the Roman Catholic school that is in St. Paul's Bank and send their children to Rancho Dolores. Uh, and so I thought it was timely, as you know, we had once before tried to bring together the villagers to speak of this topic of amalgamation. Uh, I thought it was timely now, since the, both of these two schools were uh, promising to close, that we could once again uh, have the kind of discussion that could see us advance ourselves uh, towards amalgamation. And I'll tell you, the villagers that attended the meeting uh, at the end of our discussion all felt, with the exception of the villagers uh, from Flowers Bank who had strong views, all felt that amalgamation uh, is the way to go. In fact, I'll take it even further. Those from Flowers Bank felt that amalgamation uh, was what we needed to do, but they just weren't convinced it was the time to do it.